Hello my fellow investors and welcome back to another stock analysis video. Today guys, let's actually analyze the company T. Rowe Price because I've actually noticed that when I was doing my market update video, T. Rowe fell a significant amount this past week and I've also never done like a full blown stock analysis on it. I've only did it one time, three financial companies that were a fair value, which that's a series I still need to finish, but markets have gone up. so kind of can't do that anymore until they fall back down but nonetheless i want to do a full-blown stock analysis on this company and see if today it is a pretty good price to buy it at so with that said let's get started with this analysis so now we are here guys at my calculator we got the ticker symbol for t-r-o-w market cap of almost 25 billion dollars a p-e of 12.69 so with a current share price of 110 dollars and 52 cents this might actually be looking like a pretty good price now when i did my other video on this company that was really really quick the one that had three financial companies i believe the share price was lower current share price is 110 dollars and 52 cents i believe back then it was like 98 if i'm not mistaken but even with this 110 dollars share price guys take a look at this on the one year they're down 42.02 percent on the year to date they're down 43.2 percent 52 week ranges is 93 dollars and 53 cents to 200 dollars guys 201 dollars almost on the 52 week high that is insane this company has fallen down a tremendous amount i get another example that you can 100 percent overpay for growth so seeing that massive drop from 52 week high to now, I can't wait to show you guys exactly what my target share prices are because once again, I am proven correct. Love to be proven correct. It's absolutely amazing. Now, when it comes to this annual dividends, guys, they do pay out one $4.80 per share, which ends up being a 4.34% yield with a payout ratio of 49.58% a CAGR of 16.05 and 36 consecutive years of dividend payment. Very, very solid all across the board. Ex dividend date unfortunately passed as of December 15th. Payout date's actually gonna be on the 29th. So unfortunately, as if I'm recording this video, you will not be getting a Christmas bonus when it comes to t row because it's after the ex dividend date, but you will get it next quarter, i.e. around like March or so. And of course they pay their dividends quarterly. Now with this dividend, based off of their current share outstanding they pay out almost 1.1 billion dollars and based off of their five-year average free cash flow they still have left 471.3 million dollars as of their last year's free cash flow it is 2.14 billion dollars now these payout ratios are interesting because as of last year's free cash flow it is 33.45 percent which is really really good however as of the five-year average it is 69.52 percent so that one's a little bit high but the current one is really really low so that actually means that they haven't been increasing their free cash flow fairly decently within the past couple years so now let's actually take a look at the fundamentals starting of course with the net income five years ago of 1.5 billion to one year ago of 3.1 billion increase of 106 percent on the five year this is a beautiful net income not a single year did they go down for starters and there hasn't been any year that had that was just like a massive massive outlier sure i guess you could say from two to one it was pretty big it was roughly what 700 million dollar increase but honestly it's not too bad in my personal opinion so you know what for all intents and purposes i'm gonna give this a 100 percent coming now into the free cash flow this one could be a little bit better five years ago it was 43.4 million dollars one year ago it was 3.2 billion dollars that's massive this is an increase of 7303 percent on the five year with an average of one 1.55 billion dollars the biggest outlier here is this massive jump from five years ago to four years ago and then they went down from four to three a little bit by around like a hundred million dollars and then a massive jump from 1.7 billion to 3.2 billion dollars from two to one year ago so okay this is increasing but it's just a lot of up and down, but it's not too much, I guess you could say. I mean, for all intents and purposes, I'm going to give this essentially like a 75%. It's decent enough, in my personal opinion. It's just not consistent enough as I would normally like it to be, but I'm going to give it a 75% 
just because it is good enough. Coming now into the revenue, this one is looking beautiful as well. Nice consistent increase five years ago of $4.8 billion, two one year ago of $7.7 .7 billion, increase of 58%. I'm gonna have to give this guys a 100%. Once again, guys, not a single year did they go down when it came to the revenue and there really isn't that many big outliers either. Again, the biggest outlier here is two years ago to one year ago and it wasn't even that much. Looking now at the total assets and total liabilities, this one is actually interesting because, well, as of today, they are in the positive. However, they have $9.7 billion in this difference and I don't think that they'll be able to get to the one year ago value, which was $10.25 billion, but they're still in the positive and they're still consistently increasing. There hasn't been one year where they went down when it came to this difference. Average total assets is $10.4 billion. Average liabilities is $1.6 billion. Doing this difference, we get around almost $8.9 billion. I'm going to give this like a 95%. Now into the cash flow minus the total liabilities. This one is a mess. This one, this is the first time I'm looking at this. And this is incredible to see. In fact, I just paused the video, guys, and I had to double check all of my numbers because I just cannot believe this. This is insane. Take a look at this. Their lowest point when it came to this graph, cash flow minus liabilities, was five years ago of negative $781.3 million. Not even a billion dollars, million dollars. And well, as of today, guys, they are $915 million. Positive $915 million. This means Means that they have enough cash flow to not only pay off their total liabilities, but they also have enough cash flow to pay off their liabilities and still have $915 million left. That is insane. It is so rare to see a company be in the positive in this metric. I normally like to look for companies that are at least bringing this number closer and closer to zero. The fact that not only one year ago were they above water when it came to this difference, Four years ago, they were above water when it came to this difference. That is insane. That's crazy. And in fact, the average, it is negative $29.08 million. I have to give this like a 100%. Like this is absolutely crazy. This is such a good metric. It's not even funny. And now when it comes to their shares outstanding, this one's looking amazing too. Consistently decreasing within the past five years. Now there was one time where they issued a little bit of shares going from two to one year ago. So not consistently increasing my bad. That, that was my fault. But nonetheless, on the five year scale, guys, this is doing a very, very good buyback going from 245.1 million shares to 223.9 million shares. There's a decrease of 8.65% on the five year and 2.31% from the previous to the current year. And take a look at this. Even when they issued shares from two to one year ago, probably COVID related, honestly, the following year, this year, which is about to end, they pretty much said, now we're going to do two years worth of buyback this year's and last year because last year we issued. So they went from 229.2 to 223.9. That's amazing, guys. That's absolutely amazing. Now, they did have a little bit of an increase there. I'm not going to give it 100%, but I'm going to give it like a 95%. Still really, really solid. And lastly, they currently hold $2.4 billion in cash and clearance with an average of $1.8 six billion dollars and now looking at this total grade this is insane net income of 100 percent free cash flow 75 percent revenue 100 percent assets minus liabilities 95 percent cash flow minus liabilities 100 percent and the shares outstanding of 900 percent total grade guys 93 the only thing that's left to know is whether or not this company at the current share price it is a good buy because again you don't want to overpay for growth their fundamentals look good however you do not want to overpay for that growth so let's find out if at 110 dollars they are a good price to buy it at so let's do a discount of free cash flow approach revenue growth projected share buyback and a required rate of return of 10 percent now let's actually take a look at this revenue growth on seeking alpha they're showing a negative half of a percent for revenue growth for forward. I don't agree with that. I don't agree with that at all. So I'm actually going to say for revenue growth of around like two, three and four percent in the next upcoming years and the predicted share buyback we saw around like eight percent. Let's say roughly the same. Let's just match it two, three and four percent, which is about half of what they did just a couple years ago guys take a look at this target share price not just seen for debt for the low assumption 108 dollars 92 cents all the way up to 119 dollars and 22 cents not too shabby and then adjusting for debt this comes up by around like 
ten dollars or so to now one hundred and eighteen dollars and sixty eight cents, all the way up to one hundred and twenty nine dollars and eighteen cents, putting a margin of safety of five, ten, and fifteen percent. This is between one hundred dollars and eighty eight cents at the lowest assumption, highest margin of safety, to one hundred and twenty two dollars and seventy two cents for the highest assumption, the five percent margin of safety. Guys, this is not looking bad. There's only a couple numbers here that we are just above. I mean, and it's not even that much either. It's by about a dollar for the lowest assumption, target share price not adjusting for debt, and around $10 for the lowest assumption, 15% margin of safety, and $4 for the 10% margin of safety in, this, in the exact same assumption. As you guys can see, we are right there. If you guys wanted to get into this company, if you believe these numbers, obviously not financial advice, if you believe these numbers, if you believe my assumptions, this is looking like a great opportunity to buy. Absolutely. Oh my Lord. And not to mention, again, I did give their weighted grade guys a total of 93. Now, obviously you guys should make your own assumptions because this is not financial advice after all. And this is the reason why I have these calculators available for free. So please have them and make your own assumptions to see what numbers you would get. Because you guys saw me input all of these numbers in, they all change. So make sure you have these calculators, make your own assumptions. But from what I'm looking at, guys, this is looking amazing. You guys can also have my book value calculator, my re-evaluation calculator, and a dividend tracking sheet for companies like these that also pay out a dividend just to track them. So... As it stands, not too bad. Now, all I'm asking for in return for free calculators, free daily content, sometimes twice a day, maybe three times a day as well, and even the occasional live stream. All I'm asking for in return, guys, is just help me grow my channel. I subscribe, comment. Don't really have any sponsorships. Don't really have anybody else here trying to support me. The one thing I just mention all the time, if you guys want it and it's for free, it's my calculator. I don't plan on make putting this behind like a paywall ever. So, you know, the best way that you guys can help me just grow as a, as a channel is just like, subscribe, comment. It really does help here with the algorithm on YouTube. I really do appreciate it. We are so close to getting 1,700 subscribers. Y'all are crazy. Y'all are absolutely crazy. I would love to get to 1,700 by the end of this month. That would be absolutely crazy. So let's make that a goal for the channel. 1,700 by the end of December. That would be absolutely crazy. And now let's actually analyze this company when it comes to a dividend. Because at the current share price, which this is telling me that this is looking good, Take a look at this, putting in $5,725, you would get 51.8 shares, which would yield you. This is actually surprising to me. I'm actually falling in love with this company right now. This would yield you an annual dividend of $248.65, quarterly of $62.60, and a monthly of $20.72. This is absolutely insane, guys. This is a great yield for the current price that you're getting this company for. So all in all, when it comes to this company, if you guys would have bought it when I first made that initial video, you would have been sitting very, very pretty right now, even better. However, if you did it, which I'm at fault for that as well, guys, you still have a chance and you want to know something? I might pounce on this. I really, really might because this is looking good. This is looking good. I wasn't expecting to put in any other companies in my portfolio, but I could use some more financial companies. So yeah, with a 93% score and looking like a good investment at pretty much all prices right now that we're getting based on this kind of free cash flow, this is looking good, guys. But again, not financial advice. That pretty much does it for this video. Like if you like, comment, subscribe. It really does help over the algorithm on YouTube. You guys can follow me on my YouTube sites. Link in the description below. So with that said, peace out. And I will see you all in the next stock. Analysis a video.